and their community in getting vaccinated. Thank you. I call the member for Dunkley. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Well, it's a rare day indeed that the member for Goldstein can't even work himself up. Goldstein can't even work himself up um, into some sort of outrage at the Labor Party or talk about how magnificent his government is because even he knows that this government is to blame for its failure to roll out the vaccine and to set up proper quarantine facilities. That, ladies and gentlemen, that five-minute contribution was the admission of defeat on behalf of this government. Yeah. Our communities in Victoria are going back into a lockdown that they didn't have to go into if there had been better vaccination rollout and a proper national quarantine facility. And can I just say, calling something the National Resilience Centre doesn't actually solve quarantine. All it does is give a facility that already existed a utopia sort of name to roll out and repeat. National Centre for Resilience, National Resilience Centre. What does it even mean? It doesn't mean a national quarantine strategy and facilities that this government, that this Prime Minister should have been putting in place last year. Who cares, member for Ryan, what it's called? The Do it. The member Set for it Dunkley. Up properly. The, the, the member just, for Ryan the will take members his will pause. The member for Ryan will cease interjecting. The member for Dunkley will direct her comments through the chair. Thank you, Chair. Continue. No, I, I appreciate that because what I would like to do, having calm down at the just ridiculous interjections um, that were being directed towards me is read an email that I received at 2.07 p.m. today from one of my constituents, Linda Forster, who runs a travel agent, a travel agency. And <coughs> Linda is someone I've had a lot of contact with over COVID. I didn't know her before I became the member for Dunkley, but I've had a lot of contact with her because of how badly this federal government's bungling has affected her. So let me just read her email. Hi, Peter. Just wanted to express my sheer anger at the federal government's complete incompetence re resulting in Victoria's latest lockdown announced this morning, and to provide this, a clear and concise example of how the Fed federal government's refusal to accept responsibility for quarantine on a national level, which she points out, section 51.9 uh, of the constitution sets out, has affected me both personally and professionally. What does the seven-day lockdown mean for me, Linda writes? First up, seven days is likely to be at least 14 days when talking about the world of travel. As a result of this lockdown, I have many a booking affected. Affected in terms of my time, I'm currently working for nothing due to JobKeeper being taken away and no other supports being given to her, and affected in terms of my finances. See above point. It is unacceptable that this government does not offer support for the blatantly obvious industry struggle that continues to follow us since and relentlessly since the onset of this crisis in March last year. The federal government's rhetoric means nothing. Their words mean nothing. They need to stand up and act, and act now both in terms of a national quarantine centre and, more importantly, in financial support while both international and our domestic borders are continually impacted in this way. Enough is enough. Pass this example on to whomever can get through to this useless government. Pass this on to whoever can get through to this useless government. I would very much like to tell my constituent that perhaps by raising it in this parliament it could get through to this useless government. But based on the responses from the people in the chamber on the government side, it doesn't look like they're going to pass it on to the Prime Minister. I'd like to tell the 10 people who rang a GP in Frankston South today to ask for a COVID injection and got told they can't get one for two weeks because the federal government supply hasn't turned up that they can get vaccinated. 
and the aged care workers who are waiting till the 30th of June at Baxter Village for their vaccination that they'll get one. But I the can't because of this Prime Minister. Has expired. I call the member for